uh, I love to say arm um, uh, GDB and you boot so the G GDB is up uh, let's try to establish a communication with the target uh, I'll have to say target remote um, which is local host because I'll be running it on Quemo and the and the port port number so if I say the it says connection refused let me open up one another terminal and run the U port So I'll go to U-boot directory and in that current. So, okay. Uh, I'll say system R now minus M, which stands for machine, which is versatile PB minus small m which stands for RAM I'll say it as 128 MB and minus kernel which is the image of the U-boot uh, I have that as U-boot not bin and finally no graphic I'll have to provide two extra command line options to debug it on with the GDB which is minus s which is to say it is it will be debugged and minus capital S which will say to freeze and wait for the GDB command so if I come here it's not proceeding let's now try to establish communication with the target it says it's reset okay uh, before proceeding I'll go through the source code uh, all the targets begin its execution from start.s which is an assembly file and our architecture is arm 926ejs so if i come here um, I, I don't i don't know what this register initialization is but all all i can say is the final statement will be loading the PC which is program counter with a function and the function j jumps to that particular location let me search it in the source code for it I'll search it only in .c files So if you see that it's there in a file called board.c which is within libr. So if I come to arm boot, start arm boot, uh, I can see something is now gd is global data. It is one um, data or the data manager which holds various board infos. Uh, later on I see there is something called init sequence it is assigned to a function pointer and all its components are being run until it is not null and uh, finally let's see what the init sequence does so if I come to the init sequence I have first it does the R arc initialization of the CPU then the initialization of the board followed by timer environment variables baud rate serial initialization blah 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 let's have a breakpoint at one of these functions I'll put a breakpoint at board in it 
Uh, before this, if you want to see the source code in the debugger, I can say it as list. Okay, it is at reset. Let me have a break at, at the function board in it. Board in it. And I'll say run or C. So yeah, now there is a breakpoint at board in it. If I say list here, I can see what the board in it function does. So until now, the program is fine. Uh, going on further, I can have a breakpoint at serial in it too. And I can say C. Okay, there is a break at serial in it now. I can do a list to see source code of serial in it. And I can single step through it. So this is how you can debug the U-boot bootloader. Uh, let me have a breakpoint at the last function, which is display RAM config and see if we really get our console. I'll say break. I'll say C. On the other hand, I can see there is this U-boot banner come up, which was one step in between. I'll say continue from here. Okay, the U-boot console is up. I can do a question mark or help to see the various uh, options available on the U-boot bootloader. <coughs> okay, coming on the onto the PPT. Uh, we have passed through the supported targets. Okay, for building from the sources, as I said, we use target name underscore config and do a make. Uh, there are several output files generated, as I said, ELF, which has the debug information. Uh, on the other hand, if you don't, don't want to debug and just run the U-boot, you use it, uh, you can directly load the U-boot build. It requires the option M, which says versatile PB which is the target and minus this should have been the minus smaller m which is the uh, size of the ram s small s to say debug with gdb and capital s to say freeze or wait for a command from gdb kernel file to run uh, to run it on the gdb you have to say your toolchain gdb and the executable establish a communication with the target and uh, you can to see the source you can say list you can use break to set the breakpoints and you can continue saying C. I'll come up with one other tutorial which will uh, explain how to use the U-boot bootloader to format your flash or clear your flash load Linux onto it the uh, kernel image and uh, run it from there. I, I believe that's all. If you have any feedback, please do mail me at this particular email address. Bye-bye.